Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely Tea 2002. Hey, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. Yay! Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good this evening. So once again, honey, these big ass YouTubers cannot stay out of trouble. So if you guys do not know, Jake Paul was trending today because a damning article came out by the New York Times about him and how he treated his Team 10, you know, co-workers, friends, employees, whatever the hell you want to call them. And so he's basically being blasted by multiple people. But before we even go there with the whole New York Times article, if you guys do not know, last week he was blasted by a TikToker. Her name is Justine Paradise. And um, I had watched the video last week. I didn't get a chance to talk about it. But she basically talked about how Jake Paul had sexually assaulted her. And basically what she's saying is that, you know, she had hung out with Jake Paul and his friends several times. He'd been really cool, very down to earth. She felt very comfortable with him. And so... When everything finally went down, basically she let him know that she was not interested. She didn't want to do anything. And he kind of almost made her feel bad, like, oh, if you're not going to do anything, well, then what's the point, bro? You know, why would I be in here kissing on you, bro? And so she says the next thing she knew, honey, he done pulled out his damn white snake, bitch, and grabbed her face and shoved her face down into his crotch and made her give him head. This entire situation is messy, but let me go ahead and play you the clip so y'all can hear Justine Paradise talk about it in her own way, honey. Go ahead and check this out. Back downstairs where everyone is. Go back to the studio. Like, he could even tell me to leave if he wanted to. If his sole purpose was to have sex with me and saw that that wasn't going to happen, he could tell me to leave. Yes, it would be like a jerk move, but he could have. But that is not what he did. When he got up, um, he undid his pants and grabbed my face and started um, fucking my face. I would like to say that I have only given oral sex to like two or three people before this because that's really special to me honestly more so than like penis vagina sex because it's it's different with penis vagina sex mostly that's just like the only sense that's going into that is touch you know but when it's going in your mouth that's touch that's taste that's smell that's like it's all in your face you know what am i supposed to do he was literally i was still laying down he was on top of me and like holding my head like into him like i i couldn't even tell him not to he didn't ask for consent or anything like he knew i didn't want to do anything with him because he said if nothing's gonna happen what's the point and then he just shoves himself in me that's not okay on no level at all is that okay it didn't last that long though because he finished he came in my mouth and honestly it was less than 30 seconds so it didn't last that long it was like 20 seconds if that he did that i couldn't go anywhere because he was literally grabbing my head and shoving himself in me um at that point i was really confused and like what the heck just happened why did that happen i was i was like what the heck so i just like kind of rolled over on his bed and like what the heck and then he cuddled me for like 0.2 seconds he literally put his arm around me and then got back up and then um walked over to his door and he's like okay let's go back to the stew and i'm just like like stew as in studio for those that don't get it yeah all right let's go back to the stew and i was like okay let me just like fix my hair and makeup first because it was all messed up and i went to his bathroom that's connected to his room i was trying to and he's like no let's go and i'm like why would you sexually assault me and then not even let me like fix my hair and makeup like i don't want to leave your room looking like this i didn't want to be looking like that at all like that's embarrassing to have like my makeup all like 
going down and like my hair all messed up it's obvious that sexual things happen I don't know so I'm like no I'm going to fix this and then like I just like fixed my hair and makeup as fast as I could he grabbed my phone and at the time I had a phone that was pretty old I'm not one to keep up with updating my phone you know when everyone gets the new phone and stuff and it's this one so it's like pretty small this is the size of phones like now also about the size of what they would have been then um, but this one was my phone and as you can see um, it's tiny so when people were asking me for my number and like putting their number in my phone and stuff they'd be like oh your phone is tiny like I was really judged on not updating my phone I, I don't know maybe they're like oh, she's poor I don't know yeah basically everyone there would make fun of my phone because it's small and old and like an artifact and Jake at this point at this point in his room after I'm trying to like fix my hair and makeup and stuff to get out he picks up my phone he was like come on let's leave get your dinosaur phone and let's go and I was just like wait a second all right, so you guys just heard Justine Paradise basically breaking that down. And you can go watch her full video. So after this went viral, he basically released a statement talking about this. And he basically low-key threatened her and anybody else. So this is what Jake Paul had to say. He says, sexual assault accusations aren't something that I or anyone should ever take lightly. But to be crystal clear, this claim made against me is 100% false. Not only have I never had any sexual relations with this individual, but this claim is solely a manufactured accusation and a blatant attempt for attention during a highly visible fight week. Make no mistake, I plan on pursuing this defamation of character case to the fullest extent of the law. There are irreparable damages from these types of accusations, and more importantly, false allegations of this nature diminish those who have truly been victims of misconduct. Again, this individual is directly using the attention from her social media posts and videos to promote her adult content website and Amazon shopping list designed for people to buy her gifts. These allegations come conveniently for her almost two years after the alleged incident and the week of my fight, of course. At the time of her story, I was in a relationship. As someone who was a mama's boy growing up, I respect women and mothers more than anything else. I most certainly have never laid a finger on a girl without their consent. I will fight to the end to prove my innocence. This is not the first preposterous allegation made against me in my career, and most likely it won't be the last. As someone who has lived in the spotlight since the age of 16, dealing with liars, fake news, fake allegations, unfortunately, this is a part of the job. I won't back down from it. And years from now, my character as an individual will show and shine through these dark moments. So that is what Jake Paul, I mean, <clears throat> Jake Paul's lawyer, you know, probably put together and wrote for him. But that is what he posted. That was back on April 13th. So, like I said, this caused a lot of controversy. He went on with the fight. He ended up, you know, winning the fight and everything. Um, but it kind of got uncomfortable because Pete Davidson decided to ask him about the sexual assault, you know, allegations during the fight, which was just kind of odd. Um, so that kind of stirred some more drama. Thank you, man. How you feeling, man? I'm good. I'm just like calm, calm. ready to explode. Yeah. Nuclear atom. But I'm good, bro. Yeah, you're I'm on good. You remind me of like uh, when Charlie Sheen when he went on his winning tirade. Like, like everybody was just like, go off, dude, go yeah. off. Yeah, man. Um, what was I gonna ask you about? I was like, so how are you feeling? Like, how are you? <laughs> bro, you can't joke around about that. No, I'm not. I'm not. No. I'm like, are you you good? Yeah, like, I'm good. I'm good, bro. I'm good. Totally good. What's popping with that? Nothing. <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> no, man, I have zero beef with you okay. at all. I'm, we're, we're on your side. Totally. Nice. Yeah. I appreciate it. We all well, why don't you like Jake? Just because he's a douche? Well, I mean, uh, do you have an hour? I mean, like, yeah, let's go. Let's shoot, shoot. I, uh, I mean, he's not a good person. Uh, he's clearly, uh, you know, is not a good influence on any of the youth culture. That's true. Um, he kind of has this whole, like, following so he thinks he can kind of do whatever he wants mm -hmm. and like didn't he like get busted by the feds with like AKs and like a bunch of machine guns like why isn't he in jail I think he's really violated lying. the law many times I want to see Jake Paul versus Pete Davidson oh <laughs> <laughs> yo 
<laughs> hey, can I fight that little piece of shit? Oh my god! I'll listen. I'll, I'll fuck that guy. He well, won't do wait, shit. Wait, he won't. Wait, he, he he won't. He won't ever be a part of one of those ever again. He fucked his shit up, bro. Bro, I was. I, so, Maybe he'll go to work for Dana White. So I was confused. Um, and I hate, and I hate, this is like the problem with like drama and shit, because it just brings everyone more clout. It brings him more clout. Well, he got, he got clout, bro. He got clout. Exactly. But it's like, just fuck that guy. Do you think he thought he was doing, I don't give a fuck what he thought he was job? doing. You get what I'm saying? Like maybe he was doing the roast. Bro, he said, he, no, the shit he said is like shit you can't take back. Oh, okay, I didn't hear what he said. All right, see, I just saw what Jake Paul had to say on his podcast, honey. The damn, you know, the, the boxing has definitely gone to his head. He's gotten very big-headed, very arrogant. You can't tell him nothing. You would have thought he beat up Money Mayweather the way, you know, he's just gotten so arrogant and cocky. But, you know, it is what it is. But I think this article may bring down his cockiness. Maybe. Who knows? Because he is a narcissist. So it may not bring it down at all. But this article is very, very disturbing. And basically, it's called Jake Paul Promised Them Fame. Was it worth the price? A look behind the scenes at life in the Team 10 house. So now, two of the stories that really stand out. Yo, what's up? Baby, let's go. Hey, tea sippers To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.